There's that fire alarm Sam is always cool and calm If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way For Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day Fireman Sam Cause he's way to the core Sam is the hero next door There you go. Tuck in, boys. Oh, bonza taka, Bromwin. Mmm. I love the smell of haddock in the morning. But the big question still remains, Moose, me old mate. What are the wild men of Ponty Pandy gonna do today? Ooh, who are the wild men of Ponty Pandy? <laughs> Why, that's us, Bromwin. <laughs> we forge the widest streams, explore the darkest forests, and climb the highest mountains. And today we can't decide whether we should go fishing or bird watching. Hello, Bronwyn. Can I have a can of fizzy pop, please? Ooh, what are you using the binoculars for, Norman? Oh, we've been trying to spot a fox. A fox? Yes. We've had a few things go missing from our garden, and then my mum saw some fox paw prints in the flower bed. We tried to spy on it, but it's very good at sneaking about. Well, that's a fox for you, Norman. But we can help you spot that fox. No problem. Are you sure? Of course. We're the wild men of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> now, steer gently to the left, slowing down and apply the brakes. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. That was great. I can't wait to get my advanced driving certificate. <laughs> I'll be able to drive almost as well as you, then. <laughs> well, if you remember everything I told you, you should be OK. I wonder who will be testing me. Oh, is it you, Sam? Uh, no, Elvis, it's not me. Ah, Cridlington, there you are. Are you ready for your test? No, it's Chief Fire Officer Boyce. Oh. One whiff of this bacon, and old Foxy will be in here like a shot. And we can all hide in here so we can watch without scaring him away. Are you sure, Moose? It doesn't look like a very good hiding place to me. It'll be great. I just need to add the finishing touches. There. <laughs> now, in we get. Oh, wait. Better take this off. Not very camouflaged, eh? <laughs> and the bacon's ready, so now we can spot that fox. Ah, right. Here we go. Wait, Cridlington. The ultimate test of advanced driving is that you can be slow and careful. And that is why I have brought with me today the perfect testing device. A cup of tea, sir? Not just a cup of tea. A cup of my favourite Earl Grey tea. Uh. And it's going to sit up here. Now, I want you to drive slowly and carefully, and you'll get marked down for every drop of tea you spill. Oh. Right you are, sir. Oh, dear. That's one mark off already, Cridlington. Oh. I can't see the fox yet. Shh! I'm not surprised. This hide wouldn't fool even the dumbest fox. Aha! What's that sniffing then? Ooh, bacon. It sounds like my dad. Ooh, that looks scrummy. Hey, hey, that what? bacon alone. Who said that? I did. Ah! A talking bush. It's all right, Mike Maid. It's just us. Oh, oh see. <laughs> We're helping Norman and Mandy spot a fox. And they're up at it. The thing you have to remember is that spotting something wild, like a fox, requires stealth and cunning. And you have to have the ears of a bat and the eyes of an eagle. And we can do it because we are the, the wild, wild men of Ponty Pandy. Pandy. <laughs> oh, yes, very wild. Hold your horses. Where's my hat, eh? It was there a minute ago. Look! Some paw prints. They're from the fox, all right. Are you telling me a fox walked right through the garden and took your hat and the wild men of Ponty Pandy didn't see him? 
We might not have seen him this time, Mandy, but we will very soon. And we'll get my hat back. Now, which way do the tracks go? That, that way. way. I don't think those two could spot a fox if it bit them on the bottom. What on earth are you doing, man? That was the biggest spill yet. Sorry, sir, but it was a fox. Well, I have to say it's not looking very good, Cridlington. I know, sir. We're getting closer. Must be here somewhere. I hope so. We've been going around in circles for ages. There it is! The fox's den. That's where old Foxy will have taken my hat. I'm going in. Are you sure that's a good idea, Moose? You might get stuck. The wild man of Pontypandy never gets stuck. Watch this. I think a wild man of Pontypandy just got stuck. Don't worry, mate. I'm coming in. I'm not sure that's a good ah! idea. Oh, oh, I got you, mate. No, no, that's a tree root. Oh, no. I'm stuck too. Right, that's enough. I think I better call Fireman Sam. You two stay there. Tom and Moose are stuck down a foxhole? <gasps> I'm on my way, sir. We need you to head over to the forest in Jupiter and Sam will meet you there on Mercury. Right, Cridlington. You heard Station Officer Steele. It's an emergency. You'll need to drive a bit more quickly, but you can still drive smoothly. Ah! Well, at least I saved half of it, I suppose. Ah! Oh, dear. oh, sorry, sir. They're down there, Sam! Tom! Moose! Try to stay calm. We'll have you out of there in no time. OK, Sam. But it feels like the den might be given way. Oh, no! We have to widen the exit hole so we can pull them out. Here you are, Sam. Ah, thanks, Elvis. We'd better start digging, and fast. Stop! I think we're going to have to go slowly and carefully, sir. You know what, Cridlington? You might be right. Yes, we don't want the den collapsing. You widen the hole at the top and I'll work at the sides. I think I'd better keep the roof propped up with the jack. It looks like driving isn't the only thing you need to do slowly and carefully, sir. Oh, this is more embarrassing than the time we got stuck in a tree. Well, I hope the wild men of Ponty Pandy aren't going to make a habit of diving into foxholes. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, Sam, we won't. I'm very impressed with you, Cridlington. You've clearly taken the slow and careful instruction to heart. The advanced driving certificate is yours. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Andy left me my hat. Mandy's the real fox spotter. Well, in that case, I think she should be the wild girl of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mandy. Be a wild girl. Oh, all right then. That's <laughs> 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 it. More teeth. <laughs> Sam is the hero now.